Hey guys, so I'm going to do a video on how to bond with your Reborn. Now, um, this was requested by Polly Near Clay Bakery 123. And this is a touchy subject for me because I've had a lot of trouble bonding with babies. That's why I only have two right now and then one on the way because um, I've sold a lot of them and I've traded a lot of them. Um, Besides customs, I don't usually do that. It, I did it with one baby, but it was because he was bald and I just didn't like the bald. I like painted hair I can do, but bald I can't. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I had to write everything down because I was afraid I would forget something. So, yeah. So, I better get started because this is going to be a long video. But I'm going to feed him because I don't want you guys just staring at him the whole time. That could get boring, so... Okay, so, first thing first, hold your reborn, cuddle them, that really does help. Now, I know a lot of people, like, some people just want reborns as a, like a, a display thing, and that's fine, but if you're trying to bond with your reborn, you need to hold them and cuddle them like you would a real baby. Um, it really does help, um... I mean, it might seem strange at first if you're not used to holding or cuddling your reborn, but you'll get used to it. And um, another thing is change your baby. Um, like, if you just keep them in the same outfit all the time, they're going to get boring. So if you change, I change my babies like every day pretty much, unless I'm like doing something. But if I'm going to be holding them and stuff, I change them every single day. So, yeah. Um, another thing is take your Reborns out. Um, I know some people just don't want to take them out, and that's fine. You don't have to. But for me, personally, just taking them out helps me bond with them. I don't know why, but it does. So, there's another tip. Um, feed your baby. And some people think it's weird to feed your baby off camera. Um... Which, you know, I understand, but as long as you know the baby's not real, then there's no weirdness there, in my opinion. As long as you truly know your baby is not real, then I don't think there's any harm in it. And, um, I don't feed my babies often off camera, but if I'm trying to bond with a baby, I definitely do, um, feed them off camera. Um... Oh, buddy, you're kind of bending your bottle nipple there a little bit. Um, another tip is um, do videos with your reborn. Um, that really helps. Um, it's good for it's good for bonding, and it just if you do more videos with your baby, you use your baby more, which creates a bond, and people like seeing them then you're more apt to keep them if that makes sense um do video or yeah i just said that um if you have not bonded with your baby and you can't um change their sex because like um elijah right here was a girl and i started not bonding and i can tell when i am not gonna bond with the baby it's just not gonna happen and I changed his sex, and I love him now. Like, completely am in love with him. So, yeah, there's one thing you can do. Um, shop for your baby. Now, I understand a lot of people on here don't have money because it's a lot of young girls and all that. But where I shop, I shop, I try to not shop at Walmart unless it's something that I really see that I really want. Um, I try and shop at thrift stores a lot. Like, both these things were brand new, but these I got a long time ago, and these were only, like, two bucks. So, if it's, like, reasonable at Walmart, I'll get it. But most of my stuff, I get it at thrift stores because, like, for my toddler, I got her three things, and it only came to two fifty. So, like, three outfits, not just, well, no, one thing was just a pair of jeans, but jeans are expensive. And I got all that for two fifty. So really try the thrift stores and like in the summer yard sales are a really nifty thing for reborns because they have everything. Like that bounce over there, I got at a well my friend got at a yard sale. So yeah. Shop for them. Putting them in new clothes really helps a lot. 
like a lot. So I think he's had enough. His belly's getting full. Um, um, another thing is give your babies like a personality. I know that sounds weird, but like him to me, his personality is like a cuddly little like stubborn baby. Like he's stubborn. Like, I don't know, I just, that's the way I picture him if he was a real baby. Like, that's what his personality would be. Now, I know it's hard to give your baby a person, your reborn a personality, but that's just another way I bond. Like, Ella is kind of my shy little, she's cuddly too. She's shy. That's her big thing is she's a shy baby and she's a happy baby. She's always happy. Um... And then the last thing is, if nothing, none of these things at all work, um, and I mean none of them, then <sighs> sell or trade your baby. Um, now, I know I don't have a lot of room to talk about not selling or trading your babies because I have traded so many babies, but I do have room to talk because I regret half of them because I did not try all these things on this list with them. I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. Um, the main thing is, too, with some of them, I just wanted a new baby. Like, my toddler I had, my cuddles kit, I didn't really want to trade her. I just wanted a new baby. And that's all it was, that's all it was is I wanted a new baby. And I couldn't do videos with her at the time, so it was almost, like, pointless, I thought, to have her. Which, I really regret trading her now, like... I don't know, I really regret trading her. I wish I had her back, but once you do it, it's over. You can't have your baby back unless you have a nice enough person that'll trade back. I mean, that's just how it is. And, I mean, it's sad, but once you trade or sell your baby, it's over. Like, that's all there is to it. So, just be careful doing that. Like, make sure that you have no bond with that baby whatsoever before you trade or sell it. Because you'll regret it. I'm telling you right now, you will. Um, there, I, I traded my first reborn, which was the stupidest thing I could have ever done. It was this baby, but it was this uh, Sam kit, so its mouth was like open, but everything else was the same on it. And it was a girl, and I had painted hair, and I just, I don't know, I thought I didn't have a bond with her. And I traded her. Um, and her lip paint was gone, which I could have gotten fixed, but I traded her with, um, my friend Shanine, well, no, my friend Shanine bought her, and, um, fixed up her lip paint and everything, and she traded her, or sold her, because she didn't like her anymore, and didn't bond with her anymore, and ever since then, I've, I've wanted her back, and I've tried to trade for a different baby, but I'm afraid if I trade for a different baby, I'm gonna miss this baby, so I'm not gonna do that. But, yeah, I mean, especially your first reborn, just please, please don't sell or trade your first reborn. I regret that so much. That was my baby, like, and Cliff, I know he said he wasn't upset that I wanted to trade her, but I know he was, because or sell her because he bought her, which I asked him first, and he acted like it was fine, but now that I look back, I know he really probably felt bad so yeah um I can't really think of anything else um I'm gonna do a video uh too I don't I don't know if I'll do it today or not I might but um I'm gonna do a video on how to bond with your baby before they get here because y'all have known I've waited for my toddler for a while which is you know there's a reason for that but um sometimes you have to try and bond with your baby before they get here, and I know that sounds very confusing, but it's actually not, so I'm going to do a video on that, too, um, probably today or later, I'll put Ella in that video, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it truly, truly, truly helps you, okay, bye, mwah,